Okay, here we have an example where we're going to use the density formula again. Uh, given, the, oops, <laughs> given the density of the substance, uh, which in this case is silver, at this particular temperature is 10.5 grams per cubic centimeter. What is the volume of a 68 gram bar of silver? So first of all, you want to write down what you know and what you don't know. Uh, density, in this case for silver, is 10.5 grams per cubic centimeters. And yes, they did tell us the temperature, but it really doesn't have any effect on this situation because density pretty much is a ratio of mass to volume. Density can change based on the temperature, and that's why they did tell you the exact density at this temperature. And we'll go over those details later. But all they're asking us to solve for is how much space this bar takes up. So temperature in this case is not considered really a factor in this solution. So density we do know, and the mass is another value that we do know. This bar has a mass of 68 grams, and we're asked to solve for the volume. Now, uh, a few videos back, we talked about how to solve for mass. If you rearrange this equation, we do end up with mass equals density times volume. Using this linear equation here, it's pretty easy to solve for volume and rearrange this formula to solve for V. Uh, to do so, if you look at m equals d times v, to isolate v and get it all by itself, we want to get rid of the density. So we're going to divide by density on both sides. Notice it canceling right here, and it remains uh, on the bottom half of the fraction and underneath mass. So volume equals mass divided by density, and then we can plug in our knowns. The mass is 68 grams divided by the density of 10.5 grams per cubic centimeters. Now I do like to establish exactly how these units cancel, so I'm going to go into a little bit of detail here. Uh, on the bottom half of an equation, let's pretend that the top is not even there, we have cubic centimeters on the bottom and grams on the top, so I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal. That way I am getting rid of units entirely on the bottom half of this fraction. They no longer exist. But mathematical rule of thumb, whatever you do to the bottom half of the equation, you need to do the same to the top. So I am going to multiply the top half of this equation by, again, cubic centimeters over grams. Now notice 68 grams is just like 68 grams over 1. Grams will cancel. You're left with cubic centimeters, and that expresses, expresses volume. So we're, we're good. And if you calculate this through on your calculator, you'll receive an answer, let's see, 68 divided by 10.5 gives us a value of 6.476190 shoo, cubic centimeters. If you're going to round this appropriately to sig figs, volume equals 6.5 cubic centimeters, and circle your answer.